virtually BGCMC, and today we're going to be making oobleck. It's not a solid, it's not a liquid. It's something called a non-Newtonian fluid, which means when I stick my hands in it, it's solid and they sink in. But if I was to pull it out and grab it, and before your eyes, it's right back to a liquid. So, you're going to want to make sure to wear an apron and get some few household ingredients, because we're going to get messy. make your very own oobleck at home is pretty simple. Cornstarch, water, a couple of measuring cups, paint if you want to color it, a napkin, and some gloves if you really don't want to touch it. To start off with, we're going to take our cornstarch and we're going to add about a cup. My measuring cup is a quarter, so I'm going to add four. One, Two, three, four. Now, you're gonna wanna take your water and you're gonna wanna pour over the bowl. This is very important. Do not pour on the side, do not pour up here, right over the bowl. This way, if you spill, it's going right into your oobleck bowl. I have a separate container of water and a separate measuring cup. This measuring cup is half a cup, so that means I'm only going to need one. And now, we're going to slowly pour it into our cornstarch. These are going to be your tools to mix. Simply put your hand in and start mixing it around. What you're looking for is something that feels a little bit like pancake batter. It's going to be kind of squishy, but it's also going to still be kind of wet. This was not enough water. So, luckily, my water right here is still here. Now, instead of using that measuring cup, I'm gonna slowly pour in just a little bit. And then, I'm gonna go back to mixing with my hand. It's starting to form that oobleck-y texture, but it's still not liquidy enough. Like I said, this is messy. So, if you don't wanna get your hands in this, that's where the gloves come in. I like being able to feel this, but if you don't, and you're just like, oh, this is disgusting, then go ahead, grab some gloves. Still gonna need some water. Adding a bit more. I know it seems a little bit strange to keep adding water, but it's by feel. You have to feel it, you have to take a look at it. This is kind of like when you cook or you bake. You need to just keep working it. You need to take a look at it, you need to feel what's going on. I can tell that my non-Newtonian fluid is starting to form. The reason why is it's starting to look like glue. And as I stick my hand in there, it makes that squelchy noise. That's a good noise, you wanna hear it. I grab it and pull it out. It's a solid in my hand and then easily forms to a liquid. And if I want color, which would be even more messy, so I don't think I'm gonna take it out right now. Simply take your paint, add a drop, one drop. That's all you need. But until next time, go ahead, make your own new black. Play around. Have some fun with this really messy non-Newtonian fluid. Catch you guys next time. Bye.